What's happening, Captain? This is your boy, C.B. Hunts. And what you see before you is the McFarlane Toys, DC Multiverse, the Suicide, Squ Suicide Squad, Bloodsport. Man, like I said before in the Harley Quinn uh, review, after I filmed that hunt, like I, like I posted, I went back the day out, was having to my knees and went on a mad driving spree trying to find all of them and I did he ain't lying. so as you can see here there's a box right here looking quite nice this is the, this is the uh, all black box framed in white and blue you see blood sport and all things that come inside the box pieces to build King Shark and this side of the box showing off the Suicide Squad logo name his name Bloodsport and by the side more of the window you see name and the logo of the toy line and on the back show the good image of Idris Elba the image and, the, and all the figures that come that wave and turn all that comes with and which pieces that he has in the box to be able to build uh, King Shark but trust me when we get back, we're gonna have this bad boy out the box and we will see what it do with a blood sport. Now we got this bad boy out the box. Man, I really do like this figure and and it's 10 times uh, better than, than, uh, than uh, Harley Quinn. Even though I, I kind of fixed her top, like kind of like. Uh, cut around the edges around the dress and then it does help a lot more with the movement but this here yeah the way they did this one should have did that with, with her because it's like night and day but I wish she had one thing to, that they showed in the trailer but he has now but I'll talk about that a little bit more but first you know every uh they fall into ways got that infamous black stand sorry about that I didn't have the light let me let me fix that really really quick and voila let there be light like I said this is the infamous black stand all black with with the with the DC logo is it right there next up is the card that comes in the box that's the image of each of the elbow on the back of the box. Look at badass. And trust me, they do have the exclusive, I think it's the Walmart exclusive, of each of the elbow without his helmet. I don't know if I'm going to buy that one. And got the same thing with a, with a, with a, with a G, uh, John Cena as well. So, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to buy those. But I am with these. But back of the car his bio so if you want to read it pause it here it goes so next up with uh, blood sport is a piece that go with King Shark this is more of his upper body comes in two halves this is more of his front half chest you see where the head pieces go Everything lines up, and the, like the like the little like like the uh, midriff like locks in, and it also got the back side of that body. So back got his hand up top. Everything hooks in. While I look like it's kind of easy to do up there, and I will be, be able to King Shark in his own. In his own little video, 
But like I said, with this figure here, I wish they would have gave him his gun that they showed in the trailer. That was a badass gun. Wish they gave him the gun. But I don't know if it, 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 now it explains a lot. If that if that gun comes with his uh his a uh, his a uh, his a uh, uh, unmasked version, if it does, I might have to get it. That's the only way I'll get that. If it if it if it has the uh it has the um has the gun. If not, if it still has the same blaze that it got here. I'm not buying it. it nope. Gun? Yes, it's getting bought. But like I said, these are the more of his knives or swords here two blades look quite nice all silver with, with a old handle that's it right there so next up is the main man himself Bloodsport I kind of understand why McFarlane does not add a lot of detail to figures Trying to keep everything at that more lower range, more, more affordable for everybody to buy. So I kind of get why it don't have as much detail, but that's for people who want to add it on detail. I might buy a copper paint when I get a chance. It ain't gonna be anytime soon, but when I do, I will fix all the uh, copper copper pieces here. I will do a little touch up. I might show that on my Instagram or probably TikTok. If you ain't follow me on there, trust me, you must do so. When I post, when I post pictures on there, but I do like the suit. It looked like the cartoon. I know not the cartoon, but the comic books. He looked different. He looked badass. I did have a comic book of his first appearance. While back, I don't know if I still got it now, but. I know back then I used to have it for first appearance with him against against uh, Superman, and he beat Superman, but down. And you know Superman is like is my favorite DC character. He ain't lying. But I do like the suit and everything else. All blue with that like orangey, dark orange, the orange color, the, the black boots. Some detail, like a uh, texture, different textures, a lot of smooth texture, like a little, like a little crosser textures as well on the suit. And uh, that light, his chest plate is that soft, extremely soft uh, rubber that light that you've seen on his other figures as well, like for, like, for instance. Um, Todoroki and Shigaraki of the of the uh, My Hero Academia line, where they could easily bend back and everything else, like with a whole lot of ease. I wish you would have done the same thing with Harley Quinn, because that would have been a whole lot better. But as you're looking to see details of him, we gonna go with articulation, the blood sport. You can look up that high, look down that low. It was good head tilt. Oh, that's what I like about this stuff. They fall, they all do pop off. So, in this case, they don't break. Let me fix this. Back. So, with him, raise about that much. You got the awesome awesome swivel, double elbows. You can, like with this range, it don't really bend all the way good with the elbows. I don't think. But there it goes. Oop. There it goes. There. I had it wrong. <laughs> and into the wrist. Turn it around. Does that app crunch? Like I said. Bend down. It kind of pushes it back. And then back. See here. Left and right. Does splits that much. Kicks his legs up. That high. That far back, don't have a like a lot twist, double knees, you can angle back that much, forward that much, but like a pivot, and does have a toe hinge. All in all, this nice figure. If you want to build a king shark and have a figure 
or the, the actual movie. So, if you get a chance, he is a must buy. And now we come part of the section of the review. We see how other figures look standing inside Bloodsport. First one up back. This is how he stacks up next to the McFarlane Toys Arkham Origins uh, F Strike. Looking uh, off the chain. No, not Death Strike. Death Stroke. <laughs> Sorry about that. He's looking off the chain. You can kind of tell by the same orange pieces. I wish he would have made the copper more like his. And. Cause, Cause it looks more better, more more of like a copper tone instead of this one here. I don't know why they kind of like change it up so that like both has that has that orange and blue. And if anybody y'all know read a lot DC comics, I have it. If anybody can tell me if these two get on the same the same team or not, so please tell me about that. And up next, this is the McFarlane Toys uh, from the movie Vin Diesel's uh, same name, uh, uh, Sport. Looking at the chain, I really did like this figure when it came out. Looked very, very detailed. I like the face, it looked exactly like uh, Vin Diesel himself. So I like the way these two look standing side by side. And last but not least, this is how he stacks up next to the other figure in the wave, the Harley Quinn from the Suicide Squad movie. I like the way they look side by side. Plus, I can't wait to have all these built and have them on my shelf. So that's the way they look right here. And this is my review of the McFallen Toys, DC Multiverse, the Suicide Squad movie, Bloodsport. Hope y'all enjoyed the review. Trust me, you boy had a fun time making this. And you know, with every review, I will take pictures. This is my Instagram right here. Well, we'll leave a link down below. We can go and check those out. And your boy is on TikTok. Where I take those same pictures, I post them over there. Where I just add a little bit of flair. This is your boy, CB Hunts. Hope you have a blessed one. Trust me, I will be catching you in that next one.